Imagine we're at the South Pole. Who's going to leave the biggest footprint? Is it going to be the person or is it going to be the vehicle? Now, again, if we think about the weight, the weight of this person is going to be fairly small, uh, their weight being maybe 800 newtons. If we think about the weight of this large vehicle, it's going to be incredibly large. But the actual fact is that if we have these two things, uh, as soon as a person gets out, they leave deep footprints. They sink quite far into the snow. The reason being that their feet are quite small and therefore they tend to have what we call uh, basically quite a high pressure. Now, if we look at the big vehicle, although it might have a large weight, it also has an incredibly large surface area because it has these tracks here. Now, these tracks here, what they do is they distribute the weight of this vehicle over a large area. And that means a vehicle like this, or perhaps even things like uh, armored vehicles and tanks, because they have these caterpillar tracks, they don't actually uh, go that far down into the ground. And this means because we've got a large weight but an even bigger area, the actual pressure that they put onto the ground is quite small. So pressure has the symbol little p, and it's uh, equal to the force per unit area. Now in terms of units, because we measure force in newtons and area in square meters, we can give this uh, the units of newtons per square meter, which is perfectly acceptable, but also we can measure the pressure of something in its own unit, which we call a pascal, so PA. And one pascal is one newton per square meter. Now the important thing uh, to note is that if we talk about pressures, perhaps air pressure, then um, because we have a fairly sort of a large force but over quite a small area, what we get is a value of about 100,000 pascals. And this is uh, basically sort of atmospheric pressure. Effectively, that's the same as having 100,000 apples uh, in a massive sort of uh, tall tower over a, a meter by a meter on the ground. And that's what air pressure is. The values that you're gonna get for pressure are gonna be very, very high.